Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Welcome to my video on resizing an active user form using Microsoft Excel. Oftentimes in counseling research, we use Excel to format, collect, and arrange data. And user forms can facilitate that task. So for example, in this Excel worksheet, I have participants, the variable participants, and a variable education level. And if I want to move through these participant IDs and quickly assign an educational level, I can use a user form like this. It has a list box and the four degrees that can be entered in for the educational level. And I can select the degree I want to enter in and it populates the next cell with that degree. And so I have master's degree that's added. I can select doctorate and it'll just keep adding in my selection into the next empty cell. Now this project is explained in another video adding data with a list box. In this video I'll be showing you how to resize a user form like this where you have the user form itself you want to resize plus in this case one control. This list box would need to be resized as well. So I'm going to move to the editor that's Alt F11. And we'll take a look at what I have in this project so far. So I have main form, this user form. I have a label, educational level, and a list box that's populated with the range containing these strings. I also have an empty module that I named M1. So the first thing I want to do is to add a spin button. And I want to add it to the top left of the user form because that's going to function as an anchor. As you resize the user form, the top left area will not be affected. So from the toolbox, I'm going to select spin button and drag that onto the user form and then move it to the top left. Then I'm going to double click on the spin button and you can see by default it starts a spin button underscore change but that's not what I'm going to want. I'm going to want spin down and spin up, the two possibilities for this spin button. You can change that over here on the top right. So first I'll add spin down, and then I'll add spin up, and I'll delete the original change. And then I'm going to move to M1, module 1, and build a function that can be called from spin button 1 spin down and spin button 1 spin up. So moving to M1, I'm going to start a function and name it form resize and it's going to have one argument, an integer. So function form resize by value x as integer. And you can see it brings in the end function when I hit enter. So then I'm going to set the structure for an if-then-else statement. So it's going to start with if x equals 1 then, and I'll add in else and end if. So here there will be two possibilities. The argument passed from spin button 1 spin down will be the value 1 and that will increase the size of the user form and the list box and the argument passed from spin button 1 spin up to this function in M1 will be negative 1 and that'll be under else and that will make the user form and the list box smaller. So I'll start by adjusting the height of the user form in the first part of this if then else statement and that'll be the main height. Main is the name of the user form. Main.height equals main.height plus 10. Now I chose 10 because I think that value works well for resizing the user form and the list box. If you wanted to have a smaller value, you could have 5 or 1, you would just have to click the spin button more times to get the same amount of movement. 
but you would also have a finer deg degree of control that way. So this line of code will increase the height by 10, the height of the user form. The next line of code will increase the width of the user form. So it's main.width equals main.width plus 10. Then we move on to the list box. So this next line of code will increase the height of the list box by 10. And then the last line in the section will increase the width by 10. So there you have the height and width of the user form and the height and the width of the list box being increased every time the spin down is clicked. So then for the spin up, we just want the opposite. We want to subtract 10. So I'm just going to take these four lines of code, copy them, control C, and then paste them. And instead of plus 10, I'm just going to change this to minus 10. So this function in module 1, in M1, is set up, but now we have to call this function from spin down and spin up. So I'll move back to the code for the user form, and in the spin down subroutine, it'll be M1 dot form resize, and you can see that's the only function there. And you can see it's looking for x as an integer. I'll put a 1 in. And I'll copy this line of code. Control C, paste it, Control V. And for spin up, I'm just going to change the 1 to negative 1. So moving back to the Excel worksheet, this rectangle activates the user form. So we bring this up, and now we can see if we can resize it using the spin down and spin up. I'll start with the spin up. That should make the list box and the user form smaller, and it is. And the spin down will make it larger. And you can do this from an active user form. You don't have to go back into the editor and change the size, the size list box and change the user form it can be done while the user form is active. This user form still functions in the same manner regardless of what the height and width are set to for the list box or the user form. I can still add degrees onto the list regardless of the size of the control and the user form. I hope you found this video on resizing an active user form in Excel to be useful. As always, if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to contact me and I'll be happy to assist you.